in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed so the fall of man was a veering off of the original plan. For many of us, the foundation of our Christian journey just starts with the cross or the coming of Jesus. It looks very spiritual, but it's wrong. The foundation must start right from the beginning. Are we together? I taught you something in theology that we call the law of first use or the law of first mention. That means that when you want to examine the character of a word or the, the usage of a context you have to search for where it was first mentioned study the context of his usage and that's what you use as a compass are we together now so if you want to know the purpose of man we must go back to the book of beginnings Genesis are we together now and then see what God said about that man you don't search around for scriptures of prosperity and wealth and then find out where man just appeared in the scene. You must go down from the beginning. And God said, when man appeared, he never had any sound on earth. The first sound his ears would hear was the speaking of his creator. Be fruitful, multiply, etc., etc., and all of that. So it's important that we look at that and study it very importantly. The fall of man led to the necessity of redemption. Jesus himself coming. The entire program of redemption was a restoration program. Not a restoration to heaven. Not a restoration to heaven. Please listen carefully. Not a restoration to heaven. A restoration back to God's original agenda even heaven itself as we know is a subset of that agenda revelation tells us clearly i told you the bible finishes with the beginning of a new dispensation am i against heaven no am i against the reality of the fact that saints will be caught up to the heavens no not at all the bible acknowledges that but then it does not stop at us being in heaven we are returning back again right to the earth so it is important that we understand um god's system this series has three main areas we're dealing with the second today the first is what i call the original plan helping you giving you an exegesis of the beginning to understand that god's original idea was not just for us to have cars and houses go to school get married have children train them the way an average believer and well-meaning believer the way an average believer is trained is not makes him or her not to be productive let me tell you something it matters how you are trained and it matters who trains you are we together let me repeat myself it matters how you are trained and it matters who trains you the person who introduced Jesus to you did something to you very serious. It was more than a message. The person who has introduced the faith life and the spirit life to you may have communicated his or her limitations. It matters what you are told about Satan. It matters what you are told about demons. It matters what you are told about the Holy Spirit. Are we together? It matters what you are told about purpose and destiny. It matters it's not enough to just have information it is important to study the communicators of those informations because this is where error and limitation came from so we have sincere people who are well-meaning but they have not paid the price to take advantage of the ministry of the holy spirit and the word to study comprehensively the program of god 
unfortunately our bible colleges our schools of ministry do not do so much justice in opening people to god's blueprint so the entire scope of the average believers understanding of what we call our pilgrimage the journey is this i am born one day i receive an evangelical message and then i'm told to give my soul to someone i cannot see and then i hand over that soul to him and then in in return i hear that he gives me a life whatever that is i just know i have it and then i'm also told that my name is in the book of life meaning i've escaped hell hallelujah glory to god what else do i do i'm encouraged to be a worker in church then i'm 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 encouraged to get a wife or a husband that is like me then two of us are encouraged to make sure we have children are we together then we are encouraged to make sure we train those children as a sign of responsibility then we are told to just live our lives giving glory to god regardless of what happens and then we are told to prepare for death that is that is that is another writer script that is not god the word of god that liveth and abideth forever is very clear as to god's intention so most believers are largely confused you were in secondary school and they told you just keep moving university just finish up you came from the world into the university from university they say now that you are going into the world and you know all kinds of sympathy happens and then you now enter into the world and people say get a job and you get a job and then get a wife or get a husband have children and then try to have cars depending on your level of carnality if you want to if you, you are broke and nothing happens just manage it and all sorts of 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 teachings that look like they are nice then one day you find out that you are sick you don't know why you are sick and then you go to a man of god who says you are healed and you don't even know why you were healed why is god interested in healing men why is satan interested in afflicting people then you find out that a dear lady gets married listen i'm giving your work your faith work meaning and then the lady is barren and she goes to the doctor doctor i've been a nice lady i didn't live a wayward life what is happening and the doctor says that's what i'm trying to figure out i was trained to study just give me time and the doctor is confused cannot find out what is wrong and the innocent lady lives in pain and her whole ambition is oh god give me a child or give me children Think how confused we are on earth. Everybody is trying to suggest to someone how they feel their lives can be better. So someone says, look, if you don't have money, your life will be bad. And then the other person says, so this is what, you know, I've been looking at. Okay, let me try to get the money. Then you become a millionaire and you are happy and you find out that that realm has another trouble you cannot even explain. Are we together? And this is how we live. We receive advices from confused people who confuse others we mentor our children they grow in that confusion and the earth is just a circle of failure it is important that among the the curriculum that we are given we must be able to give meaning to our lives that's why people commit suicide why not just because they are frustrated their frustration only amplified the meaninglessness of living that's why people do all kinds of stupid things with their lives abuse the word abuse means abnormal use you will misuse everything god gave you if you do not know why it was given are we together yes when you carry 10 bottles of alcohol with the writings written boldly that it destroys you you are not pouring it on the ground you are transferring it into your body it's called abuse an abnormal use why because you do not know that that body was a loan like you collect a loan from a bank if you collect a loan from a bank and you misuse it you are already signing in for disaster so we abuse our bodies when god gives you a wife and you don't know why a wife came they ask you why are you married you say well i just found out that i was age was not on my side and they said i should find somebody it so happens that this is the scapegoat who I now call and you abuse that innocent woman are we together or vice versa there are women who abuse men you now find out that God gave you a calm person who says sorry for everything and now he happens to be the victim of your emotional confusion your the the the, the confusion that surrounds your trying to define your life and you vent it on your spouse and where both of you are bold enough to confront one another the children become the victims it is still an extension of confusion 
when people celebrate golden jubilee they celebrate it angry wondering what they've been doing for 50 years oftentimes most of them are not healthy they can't hear well they can't see well they made costly mistakes in their youthful days that they are paying the price now they didn't have access to the mysteries of the kingdom they've destroyed their lives they are poor they are broke their lives are meaningless it's alarming the rate of suicide right now it used to be in the west you know the developed nations and now even in africa you get up you don't find your child you just see a letter farewell and you see someone on a tree now if we don't do something about this let me tell you right now counseling is big business psychology psychologists are getting a lot of um, um business now because there, there are all kinds of trauma centers not just from plane crash so a human being can be alive and just enter a trauma center and say look i need help why i don't know what i'm doing i'm seeing things i'm hearing voices my life is confused we need to return back to god's blueprint otherwise we are going to live absolutely useless lives when you understand the dominion mandate then marriage becomes useful children become useful prosperity becomes useful education becomes useful are we together when you understand the dominion mandate it will make sense to you every requirement the bible gives so we cut away from god's original agenda and then we keep telling people don't use don't live a useless life live a life of meaning and the person say what is a life of meaning get a job get a job and the person says, okay he gets a job and fights all over his office till he retires aren't you seen the way our lives are it's a circle think very carefully when you were 10 years 12 years just in with your little friend or your little brother or sister about the confusion in life now look at you, you are getting to 40 you have joined that vicious circle of confusion even as preachers so many preachers do not know why god gave them a church god just called me and said raise me a people a people of power a people of holiness a people of grace a people of prosperity and we put that that team on our churches our members come and they don't exactly understand what we're saying someone gives a testimony oh god gave me a breakthrough we clap but to what end god made me a minister god increased the dimension of his grace then pastors chase after anointing and you ask them why and they say my church is not growing my life i can't i can't live like this no bread on my table i need to access power i need value so they access the anointing like escapism from poverty then when they become a little anointed they are now happy doors of ministry are opening and then honorariums are coming and all of that and then with that that's how people live i want you to refuse to live a meaningless life are we together you must insist somebody now is about to get married tomorrow in this confusion he's confused he's holding the hands of another confused person and then they are starting something they don't even know where he's going will they dance yes will they eat yes will they be happy eventually no no this is not about demons god's original agenda is the key to joy and happiness not money not education ask those who have these things rich people hang themselves and drop their money and will it to a cat why because i have five useless boys in my house give this cat my inheritance our world is gradually demonstrating that disobedience to god is costly so we must return back to see you high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy 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 open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my heart i want to see you 
I want to see you. There are many of us today, our parents are angry with us. Why? Because they want you to follow the path they followed. And the word of God is already telling you that, ah, they like the way their lives are. And they, they do not believe that something they are doing is why their life is like that. They tell you, just follow. Don't, please, don't embarrass us. Just let it be like that. Oh, I want to get married to who? Yeah, the brother, he's starting off. Mm, don't do that. You see, if you do this, we are going to beg. Are you not seeing the way our lives are? And then people control people and we are victims of men's thinking. There's a lot of gap. Let me tell you something. You need to re-examine the concept of age. This thing called age. The most excellent part of age is the wisdom attached to it. If age fails to come with wisdom, it is useless. Did you hear what I said? Yes. That a man, I'm not, you know, we have, I have, I have so much respect for elderly people. You are elderly here. I honor you with all my heart. But I'm teach, we need to redefine our philosophy of I am old and I am young. Because there are many old people that are responsible for the pain of people on earth age gives you access it should give you wisdom only age does not just add wisdom on its own at best it can give you Sophia human knowledge the fact that you made a mistake does not mean you have found the answer so you can tell us in 1961 I made a mistake did you find the answer you may still be in that ignorant at that point you are just familiar with the problem not the solution how many old people mentor young people? You are about to marry and oh, no problem. I remember I married in 1941. That, ask that man's wife whether she enjoyed marriage. See her, an old woman. She would tell you, I only enjoyed marriage for three weeks in 40 years. That's the person mentoring two people and he said, listen to me. No, I won't listen to you. No, sir. I will respect you, but I reject that kind of life. You will not define that template for me. Do you know why God is called the ancient of days? You know why? The, he is called the ancient of days because of one word, wisdom. Take away wisdom because Satan too is an ancient of days. He's old. The Bible tells us Satan is old. What is the difference between him? At least they are old enough. I think any man that is older than 6,000 years is old. Satan is not 6,000 years old. Before 6,000 years, he was already called that old serpent. Yet he's as foolish and stupid as whatever. Because it is only a fool that says in his heart there is no God. And the Bible says even the demons, they, they, they try to ignore it. So they deceive men into believing there is no God. Get your life into your hands and trust God to use the word of God as a compass. And redefine your life because there are many of you looking at me right now we are doing what we call jack of all trades master of none this is how they taught me to live oh this is how i will live i have my little job with nmpc another person has a job with one uh, one para paramilitary and then we're on our way going we don't know the purpose of children so we abuse them people give birth anyhow and make the children liabilities to men and society you just come and somebody passes a child to you and say take care of my child i see i see the person was part of the arrival of the child why because the people doing that do not know the revelation behind abba abba father if before you source a thing you must be ready to sustain it this is what should govern getting pregnant no time do we have the resources the wisdom the grace the capacity for a child if a poor man gives birth to seven children he's a foolish man correct not just because he wants to demonstrate that he can give birth he is abba source you must sustain so you leave those children and they become armed robbers remember i told you satan is looking for bodies and because those bodies cannot be handed over to God, Satan will find available bodies and they plague our society today, kill people, rape women and children, maim people, destroy the peace of society. 
we have violated the dominion mandate and this is why this teaching is very necessary are we together revelation chapter 5 and verse 10 the original plan was what i discussed i spoke to us extensively about the fall of man and i spoke to us about how that redemption was a remedy system now that you are born again you must be able to have a redirection back to god's original agenda and i said a few things to us i said how that there are certain conditions that are required number one is your natural birth for you to be able to stand and execute the dominion mandate one is your natural birth you must be birth born of a woman because when jesus came he came to redeem all those who were descendants of adam listen let me teach you something everybody look up hmm. the blood of jesus is only applicable for descendants from adam if you were not part of that dispensation the work of grace and the cross is not relevant to you otherwise satan and demons should also be forgiven because a statement was made on the cross it is finished what is the it everything that had grieved the heart of the father the legal claims of justice had been appeased the bible says he shall see the travail of his soul isaiah saw and he shall be satisfied so if he says it is finished that means the demons that neglected their original estates that are now in everlasting chains alongside satan i've told you satan is not the most wicked of the spirit no he's not the belief that satan is the most wicked of all the spirits the king of all the spirits is is not necessarily error it's just a limiting knowledge because satan is not bound in everlasting chains there are spirits more wicked than him that are bound in everlasting chains the bible says that they were bound even for the sake of the elect are we together God. i pray that god will give us wisdom you see how peaceful your life will be this is what satan does not want us to know man of god listen this is what satan does not want your congregation to know because if you don't know this story you won't see the necessity of your victory and you will not know that you have been restored to now begin to walk in dominion and demons will play games with your life they will play games with your destiny you will live your life under the mercy of situations and circumstances so your natural birth then your spiritual birth or what i call a rebirth the bible calls it a regening regeneration regime every possessor of adam's genes born of a woman is born in iniquity are we together now born in iniquity means that legally you are under the influence of satan the prince of the power of the air as wrong as well as the elements in this system and you cannot carry out the dominion mandate with the genes of adam so there is a regening a regeneration are we together now when jesus christ comes into your heart a real miracle happens there the bible tells us there is a translation the bible says he that is joined to christ is what help me one spirit one spirit not two spirits one spirit so christ comes to live in you he creates his throne in your heart tabernacles in you in the person of the holy spirit now watch this the moment that happens you are now ready not to dominate you are not ready to dominate you are ready to now begin the process that restores you back to god's original agenda the dominion mandate now this is where many believers miss it and pastors ah, pastors if you do not understand the difference between prophecy and experience you will mislead people the speakings of the bible are twofold the prophetic communications of god are we together now and the experience of that communication when god speaks from his perspective it is done 
because God has no past, no present, no future. He's called Alpha Omega. Time is not something that God is limited by. He is not even limited by eternity. Eternity is still a subset of him. If he dwells in eternity, then somebody created it. Correct? Are you getting blessed tonight? And so, you must understand that this God that we are talking about is not limited. You must understand his systems and how he works. When God speaks, he can say, Sam, when you enter that house and by the time your fifth child comes, you see that? And Sam can say, I'm not even married. That's the speaking of God. God will never say, when you marry, uh -uh. he talks to men as if he's talking to himself. This is, how, this is why many people do not know. God can look at you and say, promise, take care of these 30 children. Whereas he doesn't have a job. That's God. Because in his word is also the grace to convert that prophecy to experience. So he will not speak to you like he's speaking to a man. Let me tell you one way to know that a word came from God is that there will be no resources at that point to make it come to pass whether spiritually financially etc if god speaks to you and you have the resource to do it you had your brain or a demon noah build me an ark two stadium two stadium of i mean the ark of noah was stadiums two like that are made of gopher wood how many years plantation agriculturist will give you that Noah spent 120 years building that. How many years? 120 years. But the way God spoke it, it was as if rain will come next week. This is a mistake many people make. God can say, I have sent you today. This is how God speaks. Because your whole lifetime is still his today. So God says, today, I have anointed you as a prophet to the nations. Then you get up with lack of understanding the systems of god and now ordain yourself and try to get visa to ghana or smuggle your way to uk and you die somewhere in the forest and it there will be is it a lie no god spoke to you but you did not understand the difference between prophecy and experience it was paul who was teaching the church in hebrew and began to teach them in chapter 2 and told them he says now god did not leave anything under the feet of man are we together now he was trying to quote um, the the psalm of david right what is man that thou art mindful of and then he says but now that's experience in god's eye and in god's mind nobody should be sick in god's eye and in god's mind there should not be one sinner on earth because right from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain Go to the prison is there a thief there please answer me is there a thief that went into the prison today yes so does that mean that the efficacy of the word is not working no it is he already said it is finished and there are still criminals it is finished there are still barren people god will look at someone on a wheelchair and still say it is finished yet he's still there the day that the anointing and the faith of that person comes he enters into the experience of that word that's why god is resting but he says there remaineth a rest not for god for his people what is that rest the experience of his finished work so we keep moving around with ignorance and making a fool out of ourselves and demons are happy and hope we continue like that and then at the end of it the equation does not add up and then we are frustrated and humiliated is god helping us tonight tonight we are going to look at the second aspect and that is discipleship the dominion mandate has three segments number one is a revelation of the original plan the fall of man and the restoration through jesus that's the first the second is discipleship what is discipleship a system of training for reigning a system of reprogramming a system of recalibration into the image and the likeness and then 
next week we are going to look at the third segment governance so these three segments number one the original plan the fall of man and the restoration process that we call redemption the second is discipleship discipleship is not some some doctrinal curriculum of people no it is the way people are trained to carry out the dominion mandate listen nobody reigns just because you have received jesus remember the scripture that i gave you last week right that they that received two things number one the gift of righteousness number two the abundance of grace so two requirements to reign one you must receive what the gift of righteousness no man can walk it is god's very nature imputed through faith when you believed in the finished work of his son his death the burial the resurrection and the glorification not just the resurrection jesus did not just ascend and is hanging in the sky he is seated it matters because efficient starts with the revelation of his seated position so it's not just the death i know great men like kenyon and all of that talk about the death burial resurrection but it's more than that the death the burial the resurrection and the glorification that coronation was what david saw the lord said to my lord the lord the ancient of days said to my lord the christ sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool hallelujah discipleship why why discipleship let me tell you something because you see when you receive jesus christ everybody listen carefully when you receive jesus christ automatically it gives you access the life of god is in you give us genesis chapter 1 please verse 26 god created man there was a twofold design and this design this configuration must be gotten back for man to be able to walk in dominion number one is what his image the first purpose of discipleship is to carve in you the experience of the image of the christ the spiritual dimension the spiritual composition are we together now paul said this he says my little children in whom i travail until christ be formed in you the formation of christ in reality the indwelling of the word is a reflection of his image because the bible says let us make man in our own image and the bible says christ who is the word is the express image of the godhead he that has seen me has seen the father are we together now philip said show us the father and then it's sufficient he said philip have you been so long with me philip and yet you have not seen the father whoever has seen me has seen the father so christ came as the image so man must first be made in christ now listen let us make process let us make process the moment that life of god comes the making is not automatic the life is there the spirit of god is at work in you if it were automatic then you do not need the word and you do not need the, the ministry of the holy spirit the formation of christ now please everybody listen this is one of the indices for spiritual growth the moment believers get born again if you have ever wondered what next let me tell you what next is the spiritual development of those people so that the life the character and the traits of christ will be fashioned in them are we together now the image so pastors apostles prophets evangelists together that five-fold ministry they work harmoniously to help people achieve this are we together the image of christ being formed in you that's what you call character that's what you call the fruit of the spirit the fruit of the recreated human spirit when you read galatians chapter 5 verse 16 paul was teaching the galatian church and he said this i say then please give it to us galatians 5 and verse 16 we'll read 16 then we'll go down to 22 he says this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not 
fulfill the lust of the flesh so the key is what walking in the spirit you must be trained to walk in the spirit the bible says to set your minds on the things above and not on the things of the earth it takes a training the name of that training is discipleship discipleship is not just an indoctrination into a church's curriculum and beliefs are we together because many of us hate the word and i understand because it has been used religiously by people who are not even born again discipleship is how people are made to reign verse 22 he says but the fruit of the spirit there are all kinds of theological understandings but the fruit of the spirit is love listen joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance he said against such there is no law meaning that it is impossible to be a violator with these conditions this is the atmosphere of the spirit the fruit of the spirit combined creates an atmosphere that becomes formidable no power and force of hell can penetrate that all these things you call the fruit of the spirit are and they are ingredients that structure something the bible says that we are built into a spiritual house like living stones one block upon the other you are adding love joy peace patience gentleness let me tell you every attack on a believer's life comes when there is a lapse in one of these are you hearing what i'm saying listen are, are we learning am i am i blessing you every attack on your life will come based on an advantage that was taken as a result of the absence or the deficiency of this from where comet um how does the bible put it quarreling and all this among you you see that when there is no love there will be jealousy when there is no love there will be bitterness when there is no joy the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation is that true it says the joy of the lord is your strength when your spirit is weak there is no joy joy is not laughter joy can only be given by the spirit unbelievers have happiness only believers can have joy is of the holy ghost joy has nothing to do with circumstances it is a state of being that is based on a revelation and the presence of the holy ghost count it all joy my brethren when you go through die how can you rejoice knowing this knowing this this is the secret of the joy knowing this without knowing it you cannot have joy so when you are going through diverse situations you lost a loved one you lost a job something is not working well ordinarily you should be sad but knowing this there is a revelation that the trying of your faith work at patience and then that let patience have her full course then it will make you mature it will make you unfruitful knowing this hallelujah are we blessed we must build the fruit of the spirit in people you can be educated as educated as anything and lack gentleness goodness meekness and never be promoted correct you went to school but you are not gentle at all the company throws you away because you lack the fruit of the spirit do you know all the the commandments of nigeria are a human attempt to get men to have the fruit of the spirit so when they tell you pay a bill of hundred thousand naira and all of this is their own way of trying to force you to feel the pain of stealing somebody's thing it is their way of trying to give you love when they jail you because of impatience they are trying to get you to be what to have long suffering because you are not patient that's why you wanted one million in one day and you jump somebody's fence or you stopped a luxurious bus let me tell you the chaos in our society is because there is the absence of the image the charisma, the image of christ every law when you whip your child it is because he violated something that is here when a husband beats a wife something is missing peace 
sister when a brother comes to say i want to marry i want to marry you do you know why you don't say yes immediately you go back and start cross-checking you don't even know this is what you are cross-checking does this guy love me it's not just love god alone does he have joy this brother is an angry brother peace i watched what he did to somebody one day long suffering this guy looks like a hustler he puts his hand in everything is he gentle no the way he approached me was bad is he good no he's greedy does he have faith he come you know and all of that and when you calculate all those things the other side of the equation creates your response and you go back and say no now you may not know that this is what you were checking when someone is advising you he's helping you society can never go into decadence when the image of christ is enforced the image of christ is the unifier whether you are from kogi state plateau state listen to me whether you are yoruba or Igbo, all those disparity in culture that is as a result of bad habits can be neutralized if the image of christ is formed in believers so when you see someone who is hausa and someone who is um Igbo or someone who is yoruba or someone who is from the south south four of them you will not see any noticeable differences why because they have allowed the genes of adam that was a part of the course that came through their earth and programmed something oh the men from this place are stupid the men from this place are irresponsible when you allow the character are we learning the dominion mandate it says man was made in the image it was not possible for adam to hate it was not possible for him to be impatient how did man fall because there was a pastor that said something satan became that preacher that's why when god came he said who told you not who showed you a voice reprogrammed you so how will men return back to this a voice will reprogram men the spirit of god is in his words as you are hearing this something is happening to you you are now seeing that this is not the issue of marry from here or from here this is not the issue of i am from bielsa i am from south south in our place this is how we do it all those our place when you talk like that let me show you whose descendant you are on earth there are two families one those who are connected to adam and everything adam came with two those who have been regined 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 into another family so you cannot look at me and say you come from so so place your people are drunkards i don't know who they are i've been called out of every tribe genesis please give us revelations 5 verse 9 i want you to read it god has to deliver us verse 9 1 2 no gen um revelations 5 media 5 verse 9 revelations revelations let's read it one okay verse 9 5 verse 9 thank you okay read it one to go and they sung a new song uh -huh, saying thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed me unto god how by your blood out of kogi plateau state emo enugu out of the irresponsibility that comes with the men in that place out of the pride out of the selfishness out of the hatred the bitterness he has redeemed i've been called i sympathize with my people but i'm not part of that tragedy i am another tribe i've been carved out listen if you don't believe this thing you are not a christian it's not just that it's bad you are not a christian at all what else do you believe we have been called that's why in koinonia here you don't see anybody do anything which tribe i don't even want to know where you are coming from i know that there are two families the ones on earth and the ones in heaven we're all related the blood the veil torn a family no we no man after the flesh oh your father is this i'm not saying don't be sympathetic to people in your area or whatever jesus started preaching from the jews but some of this carnality this tribalism and this these garbages we bring 
there is a thief in every tribe there is a fool in every tribe there is a devil in every tribe every tribe has witches and wizards there are poor people in every tribe so it's just that you know we make it look just because you saw more northerners looking stupid you come up with a theology that there are all more evil people and say every evil person is it's just money monger is a lie there are people who have exempted themselves called out not everybody is a money monger not every lady is a materialistic person just looking for a millionaire it's a lie not everybody is an irresponsible person not knowing where he will go some people have seen the end they have seen you know what i'm doing to you is a reprogramming this is discipleship i am unifying you now it is on the strength of this you can call somebody brother and sister that issue of brother and sister for many people is carnal it's just carnal because you were told to say it brother um, alpha brother femi and the rest but when men like kenneth e hagen rw shambach when they used those names it was out of this revelation i do not know you in the flesh but if you are in christ we are brothers you are welcome they extend the right hand of fellowship everybody say the image we need the restoration of that image there are many people who are not spiritual live likeness we're coming there we must teach you how to be like Christ. Be like Christ. Be like Christ. That's the image. The image talks of being. The likeness talks of doing. The image talks of being. Being. Who you are. Not what you do. Let's go back to Genesis. Please give us verse 28. We'll discuss more 28 um, next, next week. 1 verse 28, Genesis. Now everybody, I want you to observe something. And God blessed them and said, listen carefully, be fruitful. He never talked of having anything. You be it first. Then later on, he now said, have dominion. So God's focus when he's beginning to work with man is in being first before having. We have reversed it. Somebody gets born again today and we say, you must have. You must have a car. You must have a house. Which is, he, he's having something he has not become. He's trying to have the likeness, no image. So one million naira comes, he has, but he has not become. So it will destroy him. Are you saying that now yes have a wife but he has not become a husband so it destroys him the primary strategy and pattern god's kingdom pattern for discipling people and nation is to focus on their being before they are having listen those who write programs for foundational classes in churches must subscribe to this otherwise you are going to produce a powerless carnal many times devilish believers that's why there are witches and wizards in church because we are passionate about having so if i am born again and in two weeks i come with a flashy shoe flashy cloth i'm showing you how much i help me preach back to me i'm showing you how much i on the strength of that you will say i have faith and the brother who has just one trouser but the gift of the spirit the fruit of the spirit is working in him we look at him and we say no this one you don't have so because you don't have the word is not working our focus is on having spiritual men rank and rate people first by being so i can look at you and all you have is one trouser one bible but i see christ formed in you you are on your way fulfilling the dominion mandate i know that this guy will soon be a principality listen believers let me preach to you stop focusing on having focus on being first the image comes before the likeness is god speaking to us this is a message to someone already because our society is full of falsehood men and women who are obsessed in having 
having why because we want to prove we live in a carnal world that only interprets and rates you based on what they can relate with none of these fruits of the spirit is something that is tangible in itself their manifestation can be tangible as you relax you relate with people and environment but you cannot know so i look at this brother and what he has is peace what he has is joy and i think those things are cheaper than money so the brother would rather kill the agenda to being and then focus on having when god begins to deal with a man you find out that the curriculum he gives you has nothing to do with things like teaching of prosperity it's going to be prayer first you are filled with the holy ghost are we together and then you begin to teach he's drumming on you issues of character holiness morality you have to greet people you move around and think i am from this i am a yo-yo guy I, and he says look drop all that thing oh i am the nobody talks to me i was a capon in this and god says that's that's your business and when you want to mess up he tells you listen nebuchadnezzar was not what he had he had money he had power so he could run his mouth and talk nonsense and then he was made to become a beast for how many years seven years a beast with the brain of a man the moment nebuchadnezzar recovered he became a preacher read your bible never empower people who have not become it's dangerous it's a lesson many of us will have to learn that you are a millionaire does not mean you carry a small child who has not become and give him money that's why i like Igbo people when they are doing business they bring in an apprentice no matter how rich that man is there is a limit to the exposure of that child is that true he now begins to do business and they study him one day they will leave money in the drawer five hundred thousand and throw some small things scattered and then the man will go out he will come back and find out that 1000 was missing and he will keep quiet that boy has not become the day he ever says settle me the man will say i will slap you. if you ever talk of settling you have not become you want to have you have not learned integrity you have not learned character you have not learned submission no hmm. is god teaching us being have you become an expression many of us today i can show you that the reality of god's image has not been found formed in you because that anger is still there you've been born again for five years you pray in tongues more than everybody but let somebody just say something small your name is sam and somebody just said uh, john uh, sorry what's the name you don't know my name look i i i know who i am if you do this is you think it's a sign that you are spiritual no I can look at your life and rank you spiritually in a moment i don't have to see a vision away with your cars away with all the money and the checks and all the prestige and the english and etc all those things could not having i look at your life when i look at your life i'm searching for the christ the word of god already painted a picture and then he says let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus then the bible says he had something and was something but he gave them up and became 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 not possessed the possession happened when he became therefore god had so highly exalted him and given notice that people first became before they had the secular system reverses it packaging and falsehood is trying to portray something you are not so i borrow a shoe i borrow a suit i borrow watch are we together i borrow makeup i borrow hair i borrow anything what am i trying to do it's not that i i'm trying to show you i'm not cheap bottom line correct whether i'm cheap or not is is, is my own issue but i want you to know i am so conscious of what your perception about me that i don't mind faking everything around it but someone can sit down with gary and say no problem i'm not ashamed this is where i am now i will take it with honor and dignity 
if i don't look if i look cheap to you like that no problem i agree with the process but i am becoming next time somebody looks at you and tries to make you feel like you are a useless person you you cannot do this and that no problem you are becoming you are becoming line upon line this is what is happening to you in koinonia many of you do not know what is happening to you god has already given you a vision you will be a great prophet a great apostle but you are saying oh god nobody has seen me god says sit down you are becoming you want to have access to the mic you want to have access to a church your body is itching you to have access to lead a program and god says sit down you first become before you have is god speaking to us discipleship leaders learn to discern people who have become before you give them access don't give people access as a general thing if there are four people three people you now say oh you have given you too much access let me share it with this no in the kingdom distribution is be, be as a result of a careful study i have discerned you can fake all those things and act like it but the truth is that if you are not it will show he said by their fruits not by their gifts by their how do you know them by their a gift is dash a fruit is a sign of maturity so someone insults you and says a mecca do you know that when you were entering the university i already had phd and that thing stings you and you're like i'm a doctor don't talk and the old man adam adam wants to resurrect with his foolishness and all of a sudden that regining has been crystallized and you laugh and say god bless you ah, ah. and he says is it the america that i know that used to beat everybody i heard of a regining let me tell you if you claim you are born again and there is no evidence of transformation you need help you need counseling you need a retreat praise the lord there are so many there are angry pastors there are wicked pastors there are angry people there are all kinds of arrogant people my name is so 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 and so and so do you know the one you we are looking at you and we are still seeing your culture if i still look at you and see your village then you are trying to say that calling out of tribe and nation has gone it's not it's not yet real discipleship training for reigning bringing you into the culture of the kingdom their way of life this is how we live in the kingdom we live through the law of love we live through the law of joy we are peaceful people in the kingdom ah my temper will kill somebody oh somebody hold me you are you are acting the moment you are acting like your village the old man is attempting to resurrect you must keep it dead we do these things and usually there are also other carnal people like us who hail us you know that hailing thing can be so demonic if we are not careful <clears throat> remember they hailed jesus and they said hail king of the jews a few weeks later on the same people said crucify him he say you say yes you are looking at me crucify him let his blood be on our head we have to be careful there is one who deserves to be lifted and held forever our job is to confirm into that image here we stand david damn song and lift our hands and we will hail yahweh Hail Yahweh, here we stand and lift our voices. Together we hail Yahweh, hail Yahweh, we will hail Yahweh.
pastor your first assignment to believers is to make them spiritual the first assignment of a man of God to believers is to extract carnality. Carnality means a way of living. They must be aware of the divine life, the divine nature, the presence of the Holy Spirit. You turn people to become spiritual. The life of God is in me. I'm not ordinary. I was born by an ordinary man, an ordinary woman from social state. But now, I am a possessor of God's life. Literally. Not just some Christian gimmicks. No, I believe it. It's a fact. It's true. How many believers are aware of that divine nature in them? It tells the way we respond. The Bible says, He that cometh from above is above all. He that cometh from above, He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly. I come from above. Born of God whatsoever is born of god overcome it overcome it overcome it challenges are not unusual defeat is what is unusual whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcomes even our faith but as many as believed him even to them that believed upon his name gave them power to become power to become Power to become. Power to become. They looked at Paul. Uh -uh. Paul, who used to kill people. Saul, that would collect a letter and go and slaughter people. What happened? Spirituality. Listen. This is not an issue of being charismatic. If you don't train your people to be supernatural. To approach life and approach things with the consciousness of the divine life the consciousness of divinity there are great men of god all around the world who have spent their lives and spent the years of their lives bringing the church into a consciousness reprogramming and recalibrating our mind that the believer in partnership with the holy spirit is invincible we must restore these teachings. There are many carnal believers on earth. In a bit to balance, in a bit to teach, we have made people carnal, helpless. No matter what happens, they say, oh, well, things just happen like this. No. You are in every way divine. That's why we don't walk in signs and wonders. How do you stand and stretch your hands to somebody and expect a transference? How do you do that? how do you stand and speak there is no wire tied to you to someone outside because carnally speaking i can only see with my optical eyes but when you step back and and walk in the realm of the spirit then you know that the vistas of the spirit are not 2020 infinity infinity left only to your faith so i can stand here and see someone in overflow three and speak and expect the power of god to touch that person why i wasn't born this way it's called spirituality there's too much carnality that's why when you tell people god will bless you they still want you to they want to reduce themselves and many pastors this is the limitation of exaggeration on education when you think that because I'm educated, I have a master's in this, I have a PhD in that. Now, there are very educated people in this place. But when people trust their education, and then you see them castigate spiritual things, anything that does not subscribe to the law of dy the dx, the they fight it. Are we together? Mm. You anoint somebody, say, what is this with this oil? They write all kinds of articles. Titan is a scam by men of God to raise money. You see them. And then at the end of that ungodly blog, they now say, my name is Pastor so so and so. I'm a pastor with living Christ, parish or whatever it is. And that is deceptive. Because somebody will say, ah, ah, this is a pastor. And you know, carnal people will relate to those things immediately because they are carnally minded. Are we together? Anything that massages the flesh they like it once you challenge people why should you come and spend the night praying what is all this blah, 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 thing 10 hours five hours three hours please we are not human beings god gave us a brain and they say that to castigate spirituality the bible says through faith hebrews chapter 10 and verse 3 hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 through faith we understand please give it to us through faith 
we understand that the world systems 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 were framed by what please help me they were not framed by cement and water they were framed by an invisible substance called the word of god so that the things which were seen were not made of things which to appear that's why god tells somebody that by this time next year you'll be a landlord and his spirit wants to receive but the carnality in his mind will fight it how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man and he says have you forgotten the power of the highest this is the mystery that makes things happen i want to show you why we don't get results god has declared that this is a year of triumph but only spiritual people can receive a carnal man receives not the things of the spirit neither can he understand them why because they are spiritually discerned let me tell you how to know you are not growing by how much you rely so much on your senses and how embarrassed you are to be spiritual about life because there are people who are embarrassed to be spiritual not just that they don't like it it's a thing of shame it's a thing of shame oh you are playing and just playing a worship song and it's entering your spirit i beg we are human beings a worship song entering my spirit what is there you are listening to all kinds of music you don't know the difference are you seeing now many people in church you have a selection there's gospel music there's another one by a a, 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 a a secular artist that you want i don't have a problem with secular artists i only have this a problem with the spirits behind them i love them as people but there's a spirit behind them music is not all about melodies music is about sounds and the access that those sounds give spirits into your life so someone tells you look i went to school this i went to school he said much learning make me mad i went to school please allow me to play this song so you just play women of faith for a while just to ease the guilt of feeling carnal then somewhere in the selection something just comes babylon babylon then to witchcraft to witchcraft and you are lying down your body is sleeping your spirit does not sleep and something is happening to you how many of you have listened to a message and fell asleep and it continued playing and you followed it how many of you were sleeping and you were acting what that message was saying it now becomes graphic not just that you are hearing suddenly you find yourself in scenarios doing certain things making confessions these are spiritual things the ancient knew this we who are modern people have become so bankrupt of spirituality pastors let your people be spiritual don't pity them because they prayed five minutes and they're feeling tired and you say no you know our church there are balloons everywhere let's not make people feel you are praying and somebody falls down and the way his head hits the the, the chair even you you say Kai. hallelujah amen let's stop why do you stop a baby when he's walking and he tries to fall you allow them hi yes you say sorry but you don't stop the work We must be spiritually minded that's why the gifts of the spirit cannot flow in us we're not spiritual that's why you cannot believe that god can open you up that's why when you hear testimonies the testimonies come to a carnal mind and you start looking at the people scientifically i hope they are lying hepatitis cancer this lady that i know about allah it's just that koinonia we everybody will just keep quiet but me we 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 know at that were you blind blind when because of how people are carnally minded there are people who don't believe anything even if they see somebody fall down they will still say somebody pushed him somewhere Hapa. believe us you know sometimes when people argue i say ah, ah. prophecy you hear them say they gave somebody the names of people maybe there are people doing it but is it easy to re to to keep names try it is it easy to act like that Carnality, because we are not spiritually minded if by next week god opens a door for david down we can look and people will now say this guy he taught something we always 
credit unusual happenings to the realm of the spirit that is a clue that to remain unusual you must remain in the spirit you are like mere men there is nothing worth celebrating the dominion mandate is a restoration into a life of spirituality that the spirit realm governs the physical realm yes it does the spirit realm you must build yourself the divine nature of God the character of God the second dimension let's look at it quickly is the likeness please give it to us again Genesis 1 26 likeness talks of the functionality how God functions the image of God talks about who God is his being but his likeness talks of how he walks believers there are some of you who god saved many people through your hands but you don't know how to build them because you have not been taught the first thing is to help them become spiritual that's why when we when people get born again here we introduce them to the prayer department not just to be workers in the house why because praying they are filled with the holy ghost they are praying you begin to teach them the value of the word of god you begin to teach them the value of communion you begin to teach them the value of corporate fellowship these are foundations then when they are strong then you begin to teach them how to walk like god you start teaching them speech everybody says speech the first teaching on how to function like god is how to speak like him hmm. you reign you reign you reign you reign Kadosh. you are mighty on your throne you reign you reign you reign you reign Kadosh. you are mighty on your Then you begin to learn that he has made us unto our God. Listen, kings and priests. Your priesthood talks of your ministry to God. Your ministry spiritually. That kingly dimension talks of governance and legislature. As a priest, the jurisdiction is a secret place. The place of incense. The place of ministry where you send that incense, it will rise to heaven. The prayers of the saints, the intercession, fellowship, communion, koinonia, that's priesthood. Then you take away that priestly regalia and you put on your crown and your signet ring and you hold your scepter and step out. That is legislature, that is governance. Everyone must manifest this king priest dimension. You are a priest. When you come to the house of God, you are ministering to God. You are offering up worship and intercession for the saints. You are advocating for the destinies of men. You are communing with God Almighty. That's priesthood. Then you take on that regalia of kingship. And then you legislate. And the Bible says where the word of a king is, there is, please help me where the word of a common man is there is sound but where the word of a king is so i have been made a king and a priest not unto my village unto god and so i can legislate listen the first thing that must begin to change in your life to prove that you are functioning like god is your speech your speech ah we are the weak ones we are the ones who are this and that uh -uh you know the bible says do not say before an angel i made a mistake your speech it matters are we together your your words begin to be cultured by the word of god you don't speak all kinds of things and invoke woes upon yourself your communications become spiritual bless you good morning sir Oh, Aluta Continua, Victoria Escarta, you are prophesying. Others are speaking, they are not kings. But you, you have become a believer, you have been redeemed, yet you are still speaking. 
you have come out of egypt egypt is still in you and now when you speak you are sending sounds to the realm of the spirit and you are programming things they speak and it doesn't happen you speak and it happens the suffering continues you massage hardship pressure puts you and pushes you and everything that comes out is your hey why you why you and, and you, you all this kind of very very unbelieving talk hallelujah you hear a bad report in the name of jesus christ a thousand may fall by my right that's a king speaking ten thousand by my by my right side none shall harm me only with my eyes will i see and behold and, uh, the reward of the wicked ah i will make sure you don't marry and she tells you to your face and you smile a cause causeless shall not stand there is a mystery that no you see all this threat the woman said this ah, ah a cause causeless shall not stand are we together yes will you ever finish this house the hand of zerubbabel that started this work it's not something you just reminisce in your mind it must be vocalized it must be vocalized i am the head and not the tail i am above and not beneath the gentiles come to my light lord favor surrounds me like a shield this is a believer talking let me tell you what ordinary people would do the people in our villages know this you see what they do during festivals the major activity in festival is talking and dancing then death follows later on in the evening people start dying because people are talking talking chanting things you are moving around shakata balakata you just sense a presence that is not of god uh, don't sit and say Kai, i'm not sure be sure by praying in tongues start tongues first let let praying in tongues precede you while you are verifying so that should in case you can be praying and hear a shout from another room and say oh i see There are human beings that carry spirits they are innocent they are on the way they are on their way coming to your house to introduce spirits not unwillingly but all of a sudden you sense an urge and you begin to pray and they call you and say sorry i just feel like not coming and you know that not only have they revealed something to you they themselves need to be helped you can easily know the spirits that control men by their reaction when you pray because the spirit influences them to act in certain ways that's why many of you when you finish praying in your house that's the day everybody quarrels you i teach you the mystery now the moment you pray agitations from everyone you go you enter your room and the kindest person in your room is attacking you the devil is sending a response if you know you attack him back with joy 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 when you turn to canada don't shout at me yes i'm coming back from koinonia say you claim you are coming back from the church and look at how you match this i'm sorry it's okay. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and weep, Kadosh. So you learn how to speak by faith. Mark 11, 22, 23. If thou shalt say, give it to us. Jesus is teaching the disciples how kings speak. He's teaching them the language of royalty. Listen, this thing is not just some, some you know, many believers after working for a while, we claim that those who do these things are baby Christians. It's a joke, a principle that Jesus himself introduced nothing in your life will ever change until you sustain capacity to command it to he told job has thou commanded thy morning if you don't command it something else will impregnate your morning and jesus answering said unto them have faith in god the correct rendition there is have the faith of god operate like him for verily i say unto you now whoever shall say to what say to what so it is okay to speak to things not just to human beings jesus our high priest spoke to a mountain spoke to a tree 
who told you they don't hear biology did not teach you that they hear but jesus the spiritual teaches you that they can hear who told you the earth does not hear who told you that when you stand and speak over your family miles and kilometers apart they don't hear so you can stand and begin to legislate they call you at home and they say in the last three days everybody has been sick you say okay i know what to do and sometimes it's not just becoming a priest you jam the door put your crown carry your regalia zekatos kapran i send the wind on Aaron. carry the anointing from here to that location you must believe this thing i'm teaching you i'm programming you to be spiritual and how to function like god if thou shalt say unto this mountain be thou removed that means when you speak to things you must be specific specific give us this day what do you want ah i want i want to do well that's a vague and careless prayer you must call it by name whatsoever adam called that was the name thereof so you name your destiny peace you name your marriage joy are we together you don't turn and say this stupid husband no way my marriage is heaven on earth i call it what it is I refuse to be poor i reject it it doesn't glorify god it doesn't help me fulfill my assignment i decree and declare favor surrounds me if there is a garrison of favor men are coming to bless me today this is a king speaking you are impregnating your morning while others are sleeping you are speaking Shagato kaskariada. favor comes in the name of jesus no accidents no nothing I am immune to activities of witches i am above i come from above while you are speaking somebody is sleeping and laughing at you by evening they tell you the person is in the hospital when he comes back home he will never laugh at you again when you are speaking that laughter is a is mockery mockery is initiated by a spirit when jesus wanted to raise the dead and he said the dead was sleeping people who were crying turned and started laughing they mocked him and said get out of the house go out get out of the house i want to raise the dead and when he was alone he said little girl talita kumi i say unto you arise are we together yeah when abraham had a conversation and he heard that god was speaking about a child sarah had it and laughed that laugh was sarcasm one of the proofs that somebody has a wicked spirit living in him is how sarcastic he is when believers make faith proclamations over their destiny you see someone while he's jumping his shoe has already caught and you laugh you see that kind of laughter is a spirit it's not just an act it's not just a negative disposition that's why when we say pray and speak and other people stand and they're wondering ah, ah, you mean this is how these people speak that's what that's what brought us here we acted like him in the name of jesus people are blessed tonight the miracle service is a blessing koinonia is a blessing everything flourishes in this ministry because a word waters it words are powerful god rules the earth by the word of his power so you learn the speech of the kingdom you learn how to manifest faith but one of the things that you also learn are the systems of the kingdom i'm teaching you how to be like god let me teach you a deep mystery our time is gone i'll teach you this and then we'll just pray we'll continue next week have you been blessed god never does anything in the bible as a process twice read your bible god's system is to initiate things once and build a system around them for continuity Believers, hear me. I want to teach you how to function like God. That's why many businesses fail. That's why many people cannot carry out the dominion mandate. We'll discuss it next week when we talk of governance. He says, be fruitful. Then he says, what? Multiply, replenish, subdue. You can't do those things if you do not understand God's system. So God initiates a process as a template. Then designs a system around it. Watch this. God created man as our dispensation knows once and never had to create man again are we together 
he created man with the woman in him and then he brought the woman out and designed a system in them and says continue the result of that reproduction 7.2 billion people on the earth in spite of an average of eight people that die per second the earth is still growing because a man built a system systems are powerful are you hearing what i'm saying systems are what powerful when you do business by repeating the same thing you are not acting like god you create a product this is what many people have done google and all of that they don't know about you yet you carry their laptop because there is a system they made it once that's why coca-cola and the rest they have different branches around the world what did they program in those branches systems everybody say systems the greatest conglomerates in the world today operate through systems the same thing happening everywhere the catholics roman catholics i love them among other reasons because of the power and the dexterity of their systems systems maintain consistency it is how god functions god has not needed even when man fell when he was about to wipe the people in noah's days he still preserved the seed and out of those eight families new beginning he started another race systems jesus came as the firstborn of the begotten he died and nobody has had to die for his sins again a system of salvation whoever believes in him shall not perish are we blessed yes africans do not understand the systems of the kingdom so we do the same thing again and again do you know why god created things like videos systems so i don't have to preach the same message twice i preach it once and it is captured in a system and while i'm sleeping i am multiplying the influence to millions of people it's called systems don muen has never met with you yet you have been blessed by his ministry the anointing also obeys systems that's why everybody in every corner listening to don muen's songs will feel the anointing think about it you are not a leader if you do not master building systems when i learned this principle it made my life easy look at how god built a system god himself transferred governance to man and programmed that man and handed the earth to him systems now man is mishandling the earth largely but it's a system the first crops that came out of the earth the bible says god himself planted i hope you know read your bible god planted trees systems and then in the tree he built systems what is another name for that system a seed this is how god operates a seed is not money a seed is a mystery that represents the system of continuity continuity in every man born of a woman there is a seed that represents potentials for continuity in every woman there is a womb that receives a seed as potentials for continuity so once there is a seed and there is a womb there is reproduction hear me once there is a seed and there is a womb there is what reproduction a seed without a womb cannot bring reproduction a womb without a seed cannot bring reproduction you need to find the wombs of there are many wombs on earth a woman's womb is only an adumbration of many other wombs the morning has a womb every day has a womb you can impregnate it with words and it will give birth in the daytime the pregnancy that happened in the night can be delivered for you in the daytime your mind is a womb information are the seeds when you plant informations in your mind like a woman gets pregnant over time it will deliver to you and change your life are we blessed god never does the same thing twice when you find out that you are trying to do the same thing as a leader the dominion mandate is not working in your life there must be a system of continuity let me tell you is one of the reasons why we never grow and never flourish 
how you know there is no system in your life is that your absence stops continuity when your absence stops continuity then there is no system so you are the ceo of the company you travel for two weeks you come back and meet hellfire there's no system nobody knows what to do no system if i'm not around for one year in koinonia it will still continue running the only thing that will be missed is my unique grace and anointing why systems hmm. that's how pastors should train pastors you should be if 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 pastor alpha pastor femi and promise are all my pastors for instance if you hear pastor alpha you should not feel bad that i was not there that systems i have reproduced myself in him when you hear him you will miss me i love it every time i'm not around and people send me a text they say apostle we miss you but god koinonia was fire i said that's right systems but because of our inferiority and this village mindset that we have grown with every time you are not around and things don't work you are happy do you know why that's why many leaders do not mentor and train others because they think it is their way by exclusively capturing knowledge and keeping it how many people have died with secrets that can turn the lives of people how about anointings no if he carries the same anointing as i'm carrying will he ever respect me again look at god he didn't wait for you to be renewed he gave you the holy spirit straight up immediately after confession he granted you the holy spirit he didn't say change no he granted you the holy spirit to help you part of the ways that we rule and dominate is by building systems around things your prosperity is not something that is in the hands of god today your prosperity has been programmed in a system are you hearing what i'm saying god can in the systems are supervised so it's not like they are random there is still an individual supervising them the same way you put systems you can come and look at it and you can decide to influence it that's a sign that you are the owner of the system somebody can slaughter someone as a thief and go back home and get his wife pregnant that system will not stop because he's a wicked man now you'll go to hell if he doesn't repent but as far as that pregnancy is concerned an unbeliever who does not know god taps into god's system of wealth and abundance hallelujah i was telling the school of ministry students that there's something i'm going to teach them about finances that have not touched and have not taught any of the sets ah it's a revelation that god gave me that i mean if I teach you that and you don't prosper, I don't know how to help you again. I, I don't know how to help you. Systems. Let me give you a little tip of the iceberg. That being employed forever till retirement is a cause. Because in God's system, you start under people. But eventually, the goal is for you to be established yourself so the spirit of servitude is such that you continue to serve a man if you not everybody will have platforms like churches businesses but even under those platforms there must allocate a place that allows your grace to function that is the spirit of god and is the program of god that's why he carved out earth and gave man but he gave man delegated authority that means it is exousia but it is still supervised so he can call man to order like pharaoh could still call joseph to order but pharaoh did not interrupt it is the system we run koinonia with that's why sometimes you never come and see me check ah, have the leaders fixed this flower well systems there are men of god you are preaching you are preparing salmon they just call you and say one wire has caught you bike by yourself to sabo and buy the wrong wire and bring it back before you finish you you forgot everything and then you are stressing yourself when you are doing everything by yourself it's a sign that you are not functioning like god let me show you why many of our parents are under stress they did not mentor the young people so they kept doing everything now the youngest person in the family is 31 yet it's still father and mother that is providing food because they did not teach them how education does not teach you how 
it just enlightens your mind it is mentorship it is discipleship that teaches you how so a man of god starts a ministry and there are ordinary people and then you start teaching them how to prosper you show them the pathways to the anointing are we together you don't hide it there's nothing to hide these are the secrets you guide them you mentor them they receive measures of that anointing that is upon you you have built a system and then they begin to function the key to hardship is to not be able to reproduce yourself through systems you will pay the price and you will never last everything that has lasted and outlived the founders subscribe to function like god we're going to pray dominion the chaos in our society today is because we have not conformed to his image and his likeness his divine nature and his functionality you see why it's important to get people saved because that is the condition that can guarantee the potentials for dominion ye must be born again that's why we make altar calls that's why we are still going to make altar call tonight because there are people scattered inside outside who need jesus now most preachers don't tell you why they just say come to jesus there is a hellfire somewhere to burn the living daylight out of you and you run out of fear you are born again and you don't know what you ran from and to what dominion this is not just the issue of heaven it does not take so much to be assured of heaven because it's not something you do by yourself but when it has to do with your reigning listen the degree to which you have become like god in his image and his likeness is the degree to which you measure your success and your prosperity are you seeing why life cooperates with others life cooperates with god and everybody who functions like him life was designed to cooperate with god alone if you are not god life will not cooperate with you so our needless sufferings and pains is because we have fabricated methodologies by ourselves attempting to get god's result our way let hope let it rise darkness trembles in your own someone is rising beyond every shadow every shackle please rise up on your feet let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy life let hope let it rise darkness trembles in Listen, I want you to look at your life carefully. We're going to pray now. You can trace every negative thing to your life, to your inability to have conformed to the image or the likeness. There are troubles and sicknesses that have come to us today. High blood pressure because of worry. When the peace and the joy of God is in you. Listen, there is no drug that can give you peace. There is no drug that can give you joy. When you smoke cocaine and snuff all kinds of things, they don't give you peace. They attempt it. You know why people try getting high and they take substance? They are looking for peace. They are looking for joy. They are attempting to use things. Life was designed to respond to you once you are a possessor of the gift of righteousness and then abundance of grace that comes through knowledge through knowledge the bible says good understanding giveth favor but the way of the transgressor is hard could it be hear me that this is the missing link in your ministry could it be that this is the missing link in your business could it be that this is the missing link in your family why are things not working i'm always fighting with my wife i think i made a mistake i married a wrong woman it's a lie i think i and my children are stubborn there may be something 
you are fighting your children because you are trying to force them you are violating something about the dominion mandate you don't force people you give them a revelation you force your children to wear your, the cloth you want you force them to read the course you want every time you force men rebellion is inevitable that's why the children revolt but when you give them a revelation you see that god never forces us i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing but here's my advice choose life why so that you can live in other words i want you to live and if you must live the key is choosing life not i force you to live that's what parents are doing and that's why children revolt when you resort back to giving them revelations look it looks like i'm hard on you but it's because i love you i've made mistakes in my own life and i want you to be a great gentleman i'm proud of you and i see potentials that gentleman by himself will start talking in well by himself will stop dressing like rags and remove all those things and start babbing well and not looking like a thief the gentleman will subscribe immediately because you gave them revelation but when you use force on people you are acting as the antichrist man was not mentioned in every element that was given that man should dominate man was not given there are pastors that dominate members and they never see they are anointed but people never like them they can walk into your house any day anytime cook for me fry chips for me i'm a man of god add this and that for me after all elijah told the shunammite elijah did not force her home. the woman had a right to refuse the trouble in the world is a negligence of the dominion mandate nobody was born rich nobody was born poor are we together people program themselves something in my life my life is hard creation is hostile to me in the garden of eden nothing fought adam nothing satan was still alive but adam was immune he only gave access lift your voice and pray and say lord what key do i need to apply to my life please pray pray why are things not working in my life he spoke and said let them have dominion why is my marriage not working why is my job not working why are doors closed over my life why do people hate me i'm anointed why is my church not growing why can't i experience the anointing of the holy spirit why am i poor and broke and begging at all times let hope rise darkness trembles in your own Sing it one more time. Yeah, let hope rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Say na 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 Let hope, let it rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your hallelujah hold on genesis please give us something just came into my heart and i want to share it because genesis chapter 4 we are going to read verse 8 let me show why you why our world is a wicked world because you see every time people fail instead of taking responsibility that i am violating the principles and the laws of dominion usually we look for people to fight the bible says and cain this was after the sacrifice are we together now the sacrifice of abel was taken and the sacrifice of cain was rejected what was wrong violation of patterns violations of systems are we together now Cain got angry Cain can be your uncle Cain can be your senior brother you see where enmity came from I am the senior brother in this family how can this younger one be successful 
That's what was happening. There are men who fight their wives. There are others who fight their younger ones. There are people who hate themselves. And the Bible says it came to pass that when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. What fruit of the spirit was missing? No love. No love. No love. Are we seeing there now? Next verse. And the Lord said unto Cain, listen, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. That's the liar there at work in him. The manifestation of Satan at work. Am I my brother's keeper? No kindness. No, he had become hardened and wicked. Verse 10. Listen. He says, and he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. Verse 11. He says, and now thou art caused from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive thy blood. Oh dear, I think I've lost myself. The verse I'm looking for, I think is the verse before verse 8, that says, um, Cain was angry, and God told him, if you have done well, will it not be accepted? Maybe, it's, I'm sure it's the verses, other verses in front. We'll leave it because of time. That's the scripture I was trying to look for. That after Cain met with God and was angry, God told him, come on. Oh, that why are you angry that I accepted your brother's sacrifice and rejected yours? If you did it well, will it not be accepted? But if you do not do it well, sin lieth at your door. I think it's before. Yes. It says, give us verse 6. Verse 6. We'll read 6 and 7. And the Lord said unto Cain, thank you, this is the verse, thank you, media. Why art thou what? Angry. God is speaking to you now. Emoji. Why are you angry at another man's church? That the church is increasing and you are not increasing. Businessman, why are you angry at another man's business? Why are you angry that uh, your sister is having her children well cultured? He says, and why is thy countenance falling? That's frustration. Verse 7. If thou doest well according to patterns, shall not thy shall thou not be accepted then he says and if thou doest not well sin lieth at thy door see let me tell you every time you don't do well you will not get results and when you don't get the results anger frustration will come in that's why you hate successful people there are times that you see somebody with a nice car and just say thieves all these young pastors they are the ones who know how they are manipulating you see someone anointed and you begin to speak cynicism is a product of not obeying the dominion mandate was given to all men everybody say all men the ministry god called specific people into ministry but capacity to execute the dominion mandate legislature and governance reproduction fruitfulness the capacity to subdue was given to all men there's no need for jealousy lift your voice and insist and say lord from tonight you are giving me enlightenment i have the gift of righteousness knowledge is causing grace to be abundant for me i insist that i begin to reign i insist that i begin to reign i insist that i begin to reign I insist that I begin to reign. Pray, we're rounding up. I insist that I begin to reign. Pray. No one may have achieved certain things from where you come from, but you are the game changer. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light my life. Light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. 
Light me, Lord. Pray it. Light my life. Light my life. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm rounding up. Listen. There are many of us seated here. If I ask the number one need of people here right now is finances because of recession. Do you know why? There are people sitting and waiting for God to change their financial situation. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord it will never change. If you are waiting for it to change one day, the kingdom has a system built in. The price you have to pay is Lord light me. Open my eyes. Where am I missing it? Is it that I'm not tithing? Is it that I don't have relationships? I'm not building value. Where am I missing it? Because there are people, Nigeria is suffering today because we are missing something in the dominion mandate. We don't produce, we are not fruitful, we are not reproducing. So the earth is fighting us. Hallelujah. Let me give you the prayer point. You are going to say, Lord, show me the key. Some of you already have some keys, but there is a key you need. You can look at it and never see it until it is shown to you. A man can receive nothing except it is given. That you are opening the Bible does not mean illumination is entering you. Lift your voice and cry concerning that issue that attempts to dominate you. Open my eyes. I can continue to be sick forever. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of financial struggles. I'm tired of hardship. I'm tired of being carnal. I'm tired of being weak. It is in my destiny to be spiritual, supernatural, anointed, divine, full of knowledge, full of grace. Pray, pray. Shagata bakata praska da balia kata proses de bash. Embrakato kusoto prakato shekata barakata. Rakata kata kata baratos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. I want us to pick. I tell you, don't miss next week's meeting. I will piece some things. I will show you God's system of governance and legislature. And why certain things don't obey you when you speak we are taking it gradually there are some of us nothing works for you you pray no answer you prophesy no answer nothing divine I will show you why next week hallelujah one last prayer let's take the first command that was given to man be fruitful I like you to cry and prophesy I told you that the first way to function like God is your speech Command everything that has refused to, to blossom in your life. Your spiritual life, your finances, your relationships, your career, your academics. Those who are students, your exams are, is coming. Pray. It won't be like before again. No. It won't be like before again. I program my reality. I determine my reality. I program my reality. I'm a speaking spirit. A speaking spirit. A creative spirit. Joshua Selman, be fruitful. Koinonia, be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. In business, be fruitful. In ministry, be fruitful. In 
your body be fruitful no barrenness no barrenness no barrenness everything works together for my good I prophesy fruitfulness Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Say tonight marks a turnaround in my life. I create my realities. I stop letting things just happen. I make them happen. I speak like God. I make decrees like God. I speak to both animate and inanimate things and I declare they must respond to me say in the name of Jesus I speak to my health I speak to my finances I speak to my academics I speak to my job I speak to ministry I speak to business I speak to my body hear the word of the Lord be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful hallelujah give jesus a shout of praise hallelujah. you walk with this and see the way things will begin to be altered in your life walk with this and see the way you will begin to create realities walk with this and you will see yourself exercising dominion and then you will see triumph now thanks be to god who causes us always to triumph always not sometimes hallelujah keep standing everyone inside and outside give me a few minutes and we're done we spoke about the first condition for to subscribe back to the life of authority and dominion I said the first thing is your natural birth everyone hearing me is hearing me because you were born but the second and more important than the first is your rebirth there are people here who whilst hearing me preach the Holy Spirit began to speak to you and said you need to make your ways right don't play games you can deceive men but it will affect your capacity for dominion you know the things happening around your life and family and there are others you handed your life to Jesus Christ but at a point in your life things went you know just haywire and you left the things of God you are not serious and you are saying man of God if you will make a call and include me I will come here those two categories of people those surrendering their lives truly and sincerely you are not playing games overflow one two three online connect with us but you are in here i believe there are people in here there are people outside please you have one minute wherever you are i want you to make a bold step and come out here i want to pray with you we want to initiate you into that family of dominion don't wait for someone to come make your way make your way quickly appreciate them i believe someone is coming somewhere i believe someone is coming somewhere if there are people coming from outside clear the way for them god bless you my dear god bless you people are coming encourage them koinonia you're saying man of god i'm tired of watching the way my life is i'm tired of watching the way my family is going i trust you and i know that if you pray for me that will be the beginning god bless you god bless you don't be afraid don't be ashamed don't let anyone stop you you're saying man of god i gave my life to christ one time but i think i need to start afresh i can't lie to myself i need a fresh encounter join them quickly join them quickly god bless you join them quickly i'm tired of watching the devil prevail over my life koinonia appreciate them those coming from outside any of the overflows make your way to the front it's a new beginning for you it's a new beginning for you in the name of jesus no power will stop you hallelujah thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for making this bold decision you see gone are the days when when people come out for altar calls they come out as if they are they are responding they are going for a burial a, an altar call is like a speech and price giving ceremony you are being handed over something that no currency no amount can buy i want you to be very bold about it 
Are we together? Lift your right hand and I want you to say this after me. Say it with faith. Jesus is in this place. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for me. I receive your life into my spirit and I declare that from today I am born of God I am a child of God the life of God is at work in my spirit I declare that from today I live a life of dominion I live a life of victory the power of the flesh the power of sin the power of Satan is broken over my life forever in Jesus name keep your hands lifted I declare your sins forgiven in the name of Jesus I declare that the Spirit of God finds expression in your life from today everything that has dominated you I decree and declare that you rise above it I speak to you that this is the beginning of a new season in your life let the grace the glory the power the wisdom of God begin to find expression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ you will move forever upwards and you will never go down again in jesus name i pray amen and amen thank you for making this bold decision now please all of you this way i just want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they would require a few details from you and communicate a few informations please cooperate with them god bless you let's honor them quickly let's honor them quickly dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye